Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dad Lie. As you can see guys behind me, it is the first snowfall in the northeast for us here. So, it's beautiful. All the trees are still orange. Red, orange, yellow. Fall, winter, it combines into one massive cluster on the roads. So I figured we would have a little video of driving in the snow the safe way. Let's jump in. Number one, have a vehicle that you actually own or lease. If you don't have a vehicle that you own or lease, then this video will probably not pertain to you. Next step, or step 1A, enter said vehicle. Now this next step is very, very crucial. Insert your key into the ignition, start up your car, and safety first. Buckle your seatbelt until you hear a click. Now guys, another crucial part to driving in the snow that a lot of people forget about is turning on your headlights. It's crazy to think during a snowstorm, your visibility is drastically decreased. So turning on your headlights is actually the first step to let other drivers know that your car is driving down the road. One of the next steps that you will do, and unfortunately I forgot what numbered step or lettered step we are on, is turn on your windshield wipers to a normal pace. You don't need this pace, which is extremely fast, where if you installed your windshield wipers the wrong way, they might actually fling off into traffic, causing an accident. Be smart. Think of the terrain. Think of how fast the snow or slow the snow is falling and pick the appropriate wiper speed. Now that you have the wipers on, you're gonna put the car in drive and you are going to go about your trip safely. You're gonna observe the rules of the road and allow proper gap and stop time between your car and the vehicle in front of you. Another often overlooked accessory in your vehicle is the turn signals. It's amazing what using a turn signal can do for your drivability and letting other motorists around you, especially in a snowstorm, know what you're about to do. Unfortunately in life, even though social media might know what you're thinking, other motorists on the road do not know what you're thinking. So when you think, hey, I'm going to merge right now, you actually might be driving someone off the road, especially in a snowstorm. One of the final things that I can give advice for in terms of driving in the snow is timing. If you get done work at four o'clock, don't overstress and say, well, I need to be home by five because I'm always home by five. It's gonna take time. There's gonna be backups. So the best thing to do is crank up some tunes. Maybe you'll have Bruce Springsteen or in this case, Sports Talk Radio. And try to relax. Think of the beautiful family you're gonna return home to that can't wait to see you. Think of the beer or the whiskey that you can open up and enjoy now that you're done a long days of work. Mainly, think of other drivers on the road that also want to get home to their family, wife, kids, husband, etc. So guys, a quick recap of how to drive in the snow. One, you must own or lease a vehicle of your own. Two, you're gonna make sure you have your car started, headlights on, wipers set to an appropriate speed, and then you're gonna embark on your journey. Then you're also gonna remember time, 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 like a Darius Rucker or Hootie and the Blowfish song. Take your time, be aware, be cautious, get there safe. Your family and other families will appreciate it. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope this can bring some joy to people. Thank you for any new subscribers. If you guys haven't yet, please subscribe. Please like the video. If you're enjoying the content, please, please share with your family and friends. 
once again, this has been another Dad Life video, and Dad Life out.